Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about ASV.NET Core Web API with JavaScript using the Fetch API. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, so in this video, we will going to create a to-do application for this. So you will have to create a new web API project in ASP.NET Core 8. So I have created the project and I have added the to-do items controller in which I have added the get request of to-do, the post request of to-do items, which will save the to-do items the put request of to do items and the delete request. So th this is my controller as you can see here. So when I run this application with having the Swagger as an UI for web API testing, so you can see I have the get request of to do items. I have the post request of to do items. I have the get request by ID from the to do items. Also, I have update method, which is put method, and I can also delete from an API. So you can use this Swagger UI for testing your web APIs by ASP.NET Core 8. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get now, started. You can see the model of to do item, which is having the ID, the name, and the is complete bool method. So we have used this model in our controller over here so that if we want to add some items in to do application, we can do this action result. If we want to get those items so we can use this method if, for by ID as well and if we want to add all get all our to do items we can use this method and the last will be put and delete which will which we want to delete to do item so it can be deleted by this action result which is an api result you all are aware of that so after adding all our web api methods and completed our whole web api of add update delete and put up so what we are going to do is create an html page of to do item list so i have created this page having some basic uh, form also there should be an add item method oh sorry button as well also i have added some title over here added some css so now what we are going to do is we will be checking what is fetch api all right what is fetch api and how the fetch api works the fetch api is a modern javascript interface for making network requests primarily designed to replace the older XML HTTP request. It provides a more straightforward and flexible way to handle HTTP requests, making it easier for developers to work with APIs and fetch data from server. So this is the basic syntax of fetch API using fetch having URI, then the response will be in JSON, and then the data, this is our function of display items, it will definitely display all our items having uh, used running our API of to do items. So, so here you can see how to make a post request. While get requests are used for retrieving data, post requests are used to send data to the server. This is commonly used when submitting forms or sending data to create a new resource. So here we can post a request by having json body as a response also we have get the items when it will automatically added the data on the database this is how you delete item from fetch date api so you can you have to mention delete and your uri also your id of the particular item and it will be deleted so 
also you can add it the item by using put method over here and update those items by using fetch API so we have used this in our index.html files so here I have used the add item method when somebody put input text uh, anywhere in the to do all it will when you click on add button it will add those item in our database similarly you can add update the item also you can delete the item from here so let's run the application and see how the application works using fetch api and getting the responses from our web api all right when i run this application i'm trying to add item so uh, this is the test item i have added when i click add it will automatically add over here uh, i can add more as as long as i want more items so so i am adding more as well okay so it's now editing i can even add it as well so as you can see here I can add it that and also delete the item as well so if I want to check that item is completed I can click edit button and click on check here and click save button so it is completed okay now if you want to see how this fetch API is working and saving the data so I'm going to add some items over here so I'm going to do adding some new to-do list and click on add over here so this is our post request which is created and this is our payload having some data added over there and this is how preview and afterwards it is getting the request from fetch api you can see the json, json response over here so that's how it works the last thing if you want to debug how the methods are working so you have to add the debugger over here in the methods and run this application so make sure your developer tools are open and once you refresh the page you can see your debugger is working now and you can check the response over here the variables how the data is working and you can step forward it the functions are same uh, f10 so you can use that it it is fetching data from the response section and fetching the results in our website so you can use this by debugger in mentioning in the method here so thank you for watching this video we have covered the basics of fetching data from an api using the fetch api in javascript so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com thank you